The advantage of the turntable bass is that I can turn the clock round on the bass to show you the back. Not going too quickly, so interfere with the pendulum. Then open the back and you can see the beautiful polished gold finished uh, gilt with uh, mercury gilding on the brass and the lovely engraving on the lambrequin, uh, Thomas Tompion, London Eye, fake it. So here we've got the count wheel and it's just struck three. And as the uh, hour progresses and the hour hand moves round, just as it comes up to about 5-2, it will cock the mechanism and it's being cocked now. Can you see the it come up? And that releases the, the count wheel so that when the clock then is tripped, it will start to count. So on the hour, it drops one, two, three, four. And the indices drop into the, um, the slot and that locks the strike. So you've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The pivot for the tic-tac escapement, uh, the little cock here, it's beautifully shaped and engraved with um, a little flower on here. It's a utilitarian part, and yet it's beautifully made. The uh, vertical pivot for the uh, bell arbor um, for the alarm, and the, the whole thing is a thing of beauty, although it's just a utilitarian part to mount the bell hammer. The pendulum rod and the pendulum bob um, have a thread and so that you can adjust the length of the pendulum by screwing up the pendulum bob on the thread to shorten it or screwing it down to lengthen it. The clock has been made with a support for the pendulum so you can carry the clock from room to room without the pendulum uh, dashing around. And so if you want to move it, you stop it, click it into the beautiful little um, hook there. Again, a utilitarian piece, but with lovely shape in it. So at the top of the three side of the train, you can see the alarm mechanism to make the hammer rattle against the, the bell to wake you up in the morning. So I believe that this clock was a kit of parts which came from Samuel Nibb's workshop. There was a very similar kit of parts which was made up by Joseph Nibb into a similar clock, but Tompion differentiated his clock by getting rid of the half-hour half markers and made a statement that this was the way forward.